answers for lesson 12. The best thing to do is to pause the video as you go through so then you can do some marking and ticking of how far you've got. This question is important because it helps you to know the definitions which are in blue so make sure you've got those accurate and you need to know which way round who receives them and who sends them because in the exam you might get a question where you have to join the arrows of a purchase order who sends them and you have to join the arrow right to the right person so that's why you need to know the green and red accurately as well in this question you've been asked to complete three items for your um, purchase order one of them's already filled in that's the yellow line paper so you need to fill in the black pens and the computer desks you also need to calculate VAT, which is added to the bill, so the VAT rate is 20%. So pause the video and tick off your figures. And don't forget to sign the purchase order as well at the bottom. So in this purchase order, you've got three items to complete, but it also tells you an additional bit of a 5% discount. So the first three rows are going to have the three items and then underneath you've got a subtotal which is the cost of the three items. Then you have to work out the 5% discount on the three items and you deduct it because it's a discount. So when you've got to the green figure then that's when you can work out VAT which is 20% but that is an add-on. So you add that back on. So on the bottom box You've got a subtotal of the three items, then you've got a discount, then you've got VAT to add on, and then you've got your final total. There are the six errors for you. The one that probably has stumped a few people is the missing date, because this is a purchase order and that's needed. So those are the answers to question one. The answers to question uh, C are written in red below, so that compare your answers as well for question C. And question B is on the other page because it's redoing the purchase order with all the corrections done. With the purchase order redone, and to make life easier, the, the errors from the last one are redone in red so you can see what needed to be corrected. And notice the VAT I've written in as a 20%, just to remind you, and that's you add on to the final total. Note, then the three items at the bottom are the ones that are needed and these are just confirming receipt of the goods. This is an example of how to complete an invoice. And this is your job to complete it. Remember going to put in the date and the invoice number. Now that is has actually been an exam question where they give you the last invoice and they expect you to update the invoice number. So don't get caught out by that one. Also remember that you've got the invoice too. So you need to put down the name of the company who's receiving the invoice, as well as the three items, the three uh, sets of products that they give you. And then in the blue, you've got the total of the products. Then you've got VAT at 20%, which you add on for the total to pay. So this is a credit note, so you need to read this scenario to work out what are the faulty products or what are the over delivery of products because the customer doesn't want them, they need to send them back, or the wrong products being sent, sorry, not the over delivery. Um, so the, the wrong products need to go back, it's not what they ordered, and any damaged products need to be sorted. So in the red, you've got the products. Then you've got, again, the subtotal. If you look on VAT, it's coming off. And at the bottom, the customer is then completing the uh, damages they're telling the supplier. So remember that this is the credit note that the Chocolate Drop are offering Brenda. So they're acknowledging the fault in the products and they're giving her some money back. With a purchase order where you need to work out who it's to, you've got an order number and a date. You've got three items, so you'll need a subtotal, VAT to add, and a total where it's the you've added included VAT. So you 
the scenario that you've seen in the other questions, this is now the delivery note. So this is making sure that all the items that we've delivered, that it's giving you a written document stating what should be delivered. So you've got the three items, the three codes and the quantities, and you've also got at the bottom the area that the customer needs to sign to show that they've received the goods. and straightforward then as you say continuing the scenario this is now the invoice following the purchase order you've just done so the invoice is going to toys are you and uh, Rizzle toys wants payment and those are the items that were ordered and you've got the three items totaled and the subtotal the VAT calculated and both added together for the and finally let's end with a credit note and this is Rizzle Toys acknowledging to Toys Are You that there's been some errors with two of the products. So this is them saying we're offering you credit in this particular area. So those are the blue areas. And at the bottom, you've got the total of VAT return and a subtotal. And as you can see, there's also the faults have been added in for you.